Good morning guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I hope you guys are well. This morning I'm just having kind of a slow morning. Today is a rest day for me, meaning I'm not going to the gym or doing anything super exciting. Um, but I've just had some water and I've tidied up the house a little bit and I think I'm going to do some yoga this morning, get a really nice stretch. My body definitely needs some kind of like <laughs> stretching and recovery. I haven't stretched and I haven't been stretching regularly, so need to do that. Right now I am also making a herbal tea infusion. I don't know if you can see that. In here I've got nettle leaf, uh, red raspberry leaf, and some hibiscus flowers. Usually I would make this overnight and then store it in the fridge so that it's ready for me in the morning, but I forgot last night, so I'll have this later on today, but I'm brewing that right now. I've had some water, and I think I'm just going to do some yoga because I'm not super hungry right now. Allowing your body to rest and recover is so important, just as important as moving it. And lately I feel like I've been so busy that I have been neglecting the recovery aspect of taking care of my body. So today I decided to make that change and if you're watching this video, let this serve as a reminder to you to take proper care of your body and stretch it out, do whatever makes you feel your best. Um, I'm definitely going to try to include one long yoga session on each rest day that I take throughout the week and then properly stretching afterwards after my workouts. I am feeling much better after doing that yoga. I was feeling very tight and I just cut up myself. I didn't cut myself. I cut up some watermelon. <laughs> da, da. It honestly does not look the best, so it doesn't taste the best. It really doesn't taste that good. I knew as soon as I opened it that it's not dark enough, so it's definitely not very sweet. So I'm gonna eat as much as I can from this, but I'm also gonna make myself a smoothie because I am quite hungry since it's been a few hours since I've woken up now. Then with the rest of that watermelon that I don't eat, I'll probably just scoop it out into the blender and uh, make it into like a watermelon slushy with some lime and some ice. Um, that is a nifty trick. I'm sure you guys have seen me do it before, but if a watermelon doesn't taste that good, and you don't really want to eat it, you can definitely make it taste good by blending it up with some lime. If I had mint or basil, I would add that in as well, but I don't have that today. So in my smoothie today, I put one and a half frozen bananas, a big spoonful of hemp seeds, a spoonful of flax seeds, some ooey gooey dates. I also added in some Hawaiian spirulina, and if you guys want to check it out, I will link the one that I use through Amazon in the description. And then I put about half a scoop of the Viva Life Vanilla Perform Protein Powder um, just to give it a really nice flavor. As always, if you guys want to check out the Viva Life products, uh, the link is always in the description and you can use my code MADDIE10 to receive a discount on your purchase. And then I also put some vanilla almond milk and some water and then I blended that up. This smoothie is delicious. I forgot just how good dates are in smoothies and I've been putting dates in my smoothies pretty much every day and it's so good. I just decided to make all of that watermelon into a beautiful lime watermelon slushy. So we're double fisting with hydration nutrition this morning. <laughs> there are a few things that I want to tell you guys before I forget because I will forget. Number one, like my chair, it's in the kitchen. It's my uh, office desk chair, but um, I always do all my work here on the kitchen counter anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna bring an office chair into the kitchen and 
I love it. And my kitchen is now my office. That wasn't what I was gonna tell you. Number one is if you guys are in the GTA area, September 7th, I will be speaking at VegFest Toronto and I really would love to meet as many of you as possible. I know the beginning of September is kind of like when school starts, but if you guys are available, September 7th, it's Friday, September 7th, um, the panel that I will be speaking on is between 5 to 6 p.m. at VegFest Toronto. It's at the Harbor Front Center. It's completely free admission, so you can just come in and listen to the talk, and there's gonna be tons of food vendors. VegFest Toronto is amazing, and I really wanna meet you guys. What was the second thing I was gonna tell you? Oh yeah, um, I have added a new section on my website because I get asked all the time, what instant pot model we use, what Vitamix model we use, camera gear that we use, um, you know, where I get my metal straws from and my mason jars from. So I've added a whole new section on my website and it's called products I use. And from there, I've added pretty much everything that I think you guys have asked for that I use and they're all linked through Amazon links so that's all on my website now so if you guys want to check that out if you had any questions or you want to know what kind of things we use it's on my website now I'm gonna be peeing a lot this morning should I try them together that actually tastes good It makes it taste like a creamy, sweet watermelon. See guys, everything was meant to be. For lunch today, I decided to make some baked oatmeal. I really love making baked oatmeal when I don't feel like really cooking because all you have to do is throw everything into a bowl and then throw it in a baking dish and put it in the oven. So all I did for this was I threw in one and a half cups of instant steel cut oats. I threw in some chia seeds and then some almond milk. I added some cinnamon and then some sliced banana, some maple syrup and also some frozen blueberries and I mixed it all together, threw it in a baking dish and then topped it with some extra sliced banana and also some shredded coconut. And then I just threw it in the oven for about half an hour. I wasn't following any kind of recipe. I'm just very familiar with making baked oats and I've made it so many times that I just kind of threw everything together. Mr. Goat. This baked oatmeal is so good. It tastes like a banana blueberry muffin. The pieces of baked banana in there are so good. If you guys haven't tried baked oatmeal, you definitely need to. It tastes so good. It's like a dessert, but it's all super healthy, easy ingredients that are already in your pantry. I have a recipe for baked oatmeal, one of my favorite baked oatmeals here on YouTube, and then I also have some in my ebook. And then I'm gonna have a bunch coming in my new cookbook, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm so excited. Baked oatmeal is great, especially for like those weekend mornings where you're kind of having like a slow morning or you're having like a brunch or something like that. It's a great weekend dish to make because it does take half an hour to cook in the oven, but whatever you don't eat, you can just throw it in the fridge in a container and then just warm it up and have it for breakfast on that busy Monday morning that you have. That's what I'm gonna do. The baked banana though. Mm. All right guys, so it's been a few hours. My bros are here. Say hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, that doesn't fit. Well, then you got the wrong lid. I realized that. We are making some burritos. Why are you, why are you cutting the tomato like that? Like what? Cut them into chunks, not into slices. Why? Mm. I cut them into slices, then into chunks. Boy needs to learn some knife skills. We just filmed a video for my channel. It was more like a just like sit down conversation slash Q&A and that will be coming out in a few days. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm also drinking my 
No, nope, not water. <laughs> Does this look like water? No. I said guava juice. Oh. oh, I said guava, but. I thought you said agua, guava. Ooh. I remember I was like, if any of us become extremely rich out of nowhere, we have to just text the other person guava. So I should have texted you guava a long time ago. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> um, I'm drinking my herbal tea infusion that I made this morning. As you guys saw, it's nice and chilly. I actually, I want to add some lemon. Usually I add some lemon juice to this, but I'm drinking that. Max is very slowly chopping up the tea. That's why I don't want to chop. I know how to chop. No, you don't. Look at this. We are going to do... We've got some black beans. We've got some avocado and lime to make some guac. And then we've got some chopped lettuce. Sam, what are you making? Uh, the ground... Beefless ground. Yeah. We're making, we got some of this at the grocery store. I haven't tried this. I love Gardein, but I haven't tried their beefless ground because honestly, there's nothing that I would usually put this in. It's dope. But we're gonna make burritos and put this in the burritos. It's looking I fly. Onion, I have garlic powder in my eye. And Sam is, I'm trusting him to put the right amount of seasonings in there. Yeah, I did it before. It good. <laughs> good, bro. And then I've got some rice in here that we're cooking up. Sure. Oh, hi! <laughs> Thanks for joining the party! <laughs> this is pepper. I go put a little bit of pepper in now. Same. <laughs> so... Put a little bit of pepper in now. Yeah, boy! <laughs> So we're having a little burrito party tonight. We're gonna hang out and chillax. I haven't seen you guys in a really long time, to be very honest. Yeah. <gasps> Look at the cute doggies! Guys, we successfully made a beautiful burrito spread. You know how to roll a burrito? Yes. You do? Can you demonstrate? Yeah. I'll okay. do a whole like. I wasn't even filming my face. Oh, look at my little dad. I want everything. I want everything. Oh my guys. So, welcome back to Sam's Kitchen. Why so, are you talking like that? Today, that's an ugly tortilla. Get that bitch out of here. <laughs> oh, damn. So today. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be making burritos. Yeah. So first we take this. Let me just go. Oh, nice. I go. That is so much guac. Uh, <laughs> Why are you putting that? This stuff tastes good because I made it good this time. So you're going to want a little big, thicky boy. We're going to just go like that. Mm-hmm. The salsa will hold down all the greens. I'm just guessing. <laughs> just kidding, this is Sam's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is you go. Yeah. Oh, it's All right. Do you, <laughs> do you have to say that when you do that? If you don't, it's gonna taste like garbage. <laughs> Bit of that. Oh. Oh, sticky That's rice. all a part of it. <laughs> is it? That's a part of the plan? You squash, squash it down so it holds it. Oh, okay. This is gonna be the back of it, so it can be a little bit thicker, you know? Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. We all like our backsides a little bit thicker. <laughs> thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> so you're gonna I'll fold this. It. You're gonna fold oh, this. Oh, here we go, okay. This one's gonna be folded a little bit less, because you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna fold- oh my god, this is too thick. You when your burrito is too thick. <laughs> oh no. Oh lord. Trust me, I got this. Um. You need one of those umbrellas. It's a pocket. It's a pocket. It's not a burrito. It's a pocket. <laughs> it's a little burrito pocket. We that this you have pocket. to hold together with your fingers. <laughs> um. No, you don't. Boom! Burrito pocket. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I 
just stepped yeah. on the tortilla on the ground. <laughs> don't waste food. You can eat that tortilla too. Oh. <laughs> I don't like beans. Tell me how good it was though. It is. Burrito pockets are where it's at. <laughs> It's actually not that bad. I thought you were gonna make it like really explode and mess up the tortilla, but it's fine if you just like hold it together like this. Yeah, see, that's what I used to do with all my tacos and stuff. It's like a big like. I wish there was more of that argue. ground beef. That's what I put a lot in mine. The the ground beef from that garden is really good. Like it actually tastes like ground beef. If you like the lighter green lettuce, don't at me. The darker one is better. The lighter ones is where the crunch is at, though. Yeah, but the darker ones are better for you, and they don't taste like booty hole. <laughs> Your breath smells like graham crackers. What? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Your breath. Your breath smells That's it. <laughs> like graham We're done. crackers. No. So I probably should have got Max to make my burrito. Look at that! Check out that gone. bad boy. You never specified what strain of burrito got. What did you put in yours to make it so tiny? He's a picky eater. No, I just thought I could roll it like this, but... Um, see, look at that. It holds a little bit. Max is uh, struggling to get his together because he made his so big. Mine's so thick. But it looks really good. Goat. I'll put a lot of guac on it, though. High five. Burrito. Success. I'll elbow you. Okay. Oh, dude, you Success. gotta knock the burrito out of my... with an exercise ball and three boys and martial arts mats. This literally happens every time they come over. The boys come downstairs and they play some weird game or wrestle each other. Basically, they're just playing a, a form of... I wouldn't... Oh, no! <laughs> playing a mix of basketball, grappling, dodgeball. I don't even know what it is. I don't, how are you winning? What's the goal? I don't know. All right guys, and on that note, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It was a great video, let me know. <laughs> it was a great video, tell me in the comments it was a great video, and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm dying. Say bye. bye. bye.